Hello my peeps! Today I am so excited to take you to this cool new style of accommodation here in Scotland. These are the Oud Mirror Cabins. These are placed right next to the Arbigi Distillery, kind of just slap bang between Dundee and Aberdeen. This is a really cool spot if you're traveling up north and if you're looking for unique design accommodation with so much luxury involved. Sauna and this sort of of the grid, very relaxation friendly setup. Now we are currently uh, right above the Lunan Bay, which historically has been uh, quite popular among visitors, uh, including the 10th century Vikings who were landing here probably with uh, some different intentions than what we are doing here today. So our priority right now is gonna be to take you inside of this bad boy and show you what it looks like inside. Let's go. Let me introduce you to the Oud Cabin, a little prefab house designed in Estonia to look, well, almost invisible in its surroundings to blend in and not disrupt the beauty of the landscape around it. You can visit these in several places around the world, but of course on this channel the obvious choice is to take you to the Scottish Oud Cabin, sitting right next to the Arbicky Distillery here in Angus. These cabins are filled with convenience for your off-the-grid stay. A good set of cooking utensils and crockery, an induction hob, a fridge, coffee maker and also some basics like olive oil, milk and basic spices. You will also get a bathrobe and even a yoga mat. The bed here was really comfortable. I love big fluffy blankets and this one really offered some peak fluff. And of course the absolutely unmatched views. But of course, one of the cool things about this place is that not only is it like a cool piece of design architecture to stay in, but also it's right next to the Arbicky Distillery. And you can book yourself a little tasting either of whiskey or even of cocktails. And there's a little cafe and everything in there. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go taste some whiskey. pride themselves on sustainability and their single estate approach, and some of their spirits are even climate positive, meaning the process of distilling them removes more CO2 from the atmosphere than it adds back. The whiskey tour takes you through the distillation process, lets you learn about the maturing, and of course ends with two drams to tickle them taste buds. It costs £25, which for an hour of distillation education and two drams feels like a bargain, really. They also makes nice cocktails and as a matter of fact if you stay at one of the oud cabins you might get one free as a little welcome gift after our tour we thought we'd test out the oud sauna the cabins come with a small sauna each, except for one of them which seemed to have a hot tub instead. It smelled beautifully of wood and offered even more of those great views over the bay.
very early morning, my peeps. We got up at five because we thought that if it's clear, the sunrise is gonna make this place look beautiful. And um, I think we succeeded at capturing that. And now I'm gonna make myself some coffee and try to not let Simon go back to bed because I want him to enjoy this beautiful morning atmosphere with me. We still have some time before we need to leave this area and go back home so I thought we would pop into the car and show you some of the places you can visit and see around Arbiki. First one is gonna be just down there, you probably can't see it because of the whole exposure situation, but it is the Lunan Bay. It is a beautiful kind of a, kind of a half moon shaped beach, uh, it has a little castle, uh, we could see everything from our little cabin, but uh, we're gonna drive down and give you a closer look. is a beautiful pristine area where you might run into surfers or horse riders but we only met these two doggies because it was about 6 30 at this point and you know all the surfers were still in their comfy beds you surely noticed the castle of ruin this is the red castle originally built for king william of scotland to defend the area against those pesky vikings it used to be a much larger structure but alas since the only vikings left are danish tourists flying into edinburgh there was clearly no need to keep it standing in its full glory. Apparently, after storms, you might find semi-precious stones on this beach. A nice little silver lining, in case the weather doesn't quite cooperate with your plans. Also relatively close to Arbiki is Arbroath, home of the Arbroath Smokies, one of Scotland's local delicacies, also the Declaration of Arbroath, and a stunning coastal path which you can give a quick look or dedicate a full day to if you wish to.
And that concludes our one amazing night here at the Oud cabin by the Arbiki Distillery. I had an amazing time, uh, mostly because, you know, I love to photograph and this place is so photogenic. It's beautiful here, yeah. It's, as you can see in this outro, uh, outro shot behind us, the bay looks wonderful. And even though I feel like when you go on their website and you look at the pictures that they're using, you can't quite see that because, you know, obviously a lot of like Scottish landscape uh, con compared to a lot of like the sort of Scandinavian locations these cabins can be found in. The Scottish landscape can be kind of like a bit baldy. Uh, <laughs> however, I think that it being so close to the coastline makes it wonderful. Like it is very Scottish here for sure. And I think that some of the pictures, I'm sorry, Oud, some of the pictures you are using are doing it at the service, <laughs> meaning that if if you do come here, you're going to be very pleasantly surprised with yeah. the views. We were told by the people who work here that sometimes when like the fog rolls in, it's very atmospheric. We were kind of lucky with the weather. It was very sunny, but also very windy because mm. again, not really many trees to kind of um, like block the wind. But when you're inside, it gets very toasty. The cabin has both AC for when it gets hot from all the sun coming in. And also it has a heater kind of you know, two, two in one sort of situation. There's also floor heating. Yeah. And let's not forget the amazing sauna, which does take a while to kind of heat up. So if you are going to be using it, maybe, you know, start like an hour earlier. But after that, it was so nice to sit there in like 45 degrees. Simon kept putting the more, it more needed, water it on, to be warmer. making it too humid for me. But uh, <laughs> It, it, it was very pleasant because outside it's like, it's, it's still like 10 degrees. Mm. It's May, it's 10 degrees. What the, what the heck? Yeah. Anyway, now I think we're gonna get our second breakfast because again, today we got up quite early. Bit of a brain situation on our <laughs> side here today. Um, I, I think that's a bonus. You know, every breakfast is a bonus. If you want to follow me and what I'm up to, even more unique adventures, don't forget <laughs> to visit me on Instagram, Gakibalt blog <laughs> and also if you'd like to support my adventures and me sharing them with you don't forget that I have a patreon where uh, every month you get a bonus video and you also get to kind of you know uh, chime in on maybe what the bonus video is gonna be so yeah if you become a patron on patreon you will be one of my inner circle of supporters and also you're gonna be one of the people making it possible for me to to do this for a living yeah <laughs> okay that's it from me and me two windswept yes uh goodbye from both me and Simi. bye double microphone i wonder what that's gonna do that's not gonna be good okay <laughs> bye see you later <laughs> honey it's time to get working i'm enjoying my dram <laughs> <laughs>